I'm Warwick Scheller and today I want to talk to you about uh, some of the basics we do with these young horses. I kind of want to go through everything I want a horse to do before I ride it for the first time. Everything that does pre the, to prepare it to be ridden. Uh, I do the same thing with horses I'm starting as I do with problem horses. It's all the same, you know, it's all the same thing. And if they currently have a problem, usually one of these steps takes care of the problem. And if they don't have any problems because they've been started before, it takes care of them having that problem in the future. Recently at a uh, clinic in Australia, I, I uh, asked a lady, does she do some groundwork with the horses? And she said, yeah, we do quite a bit of groundwork with all our horses. And I said, what do you do? And she goes, well, we teach them to tie up and we teach them to lead and we teach them to pick their feet up. And to me, those aren't the basics. That's like saying, you know, my kid knows the basics. He knows, he knows maths and he knows English. Okay. If he doesn't know how to count well, or doesn't know how to spell well, or doesn't know the alphabet well, he can't multiply, maths is too big a deal, you know what I mean? So, you know, the basics of everything at school is good maths and English. So the basics would be teaching them how to count, teaching them how to spell. And that's what we're going to do here today, show you uh, the basics of everything I want them to do. And I'll explain to you along the way the things that, that these basics will take care of later on. So one of the basics, the very first thing I like to do with every horse is teach them to hook onto me. Um, part of that includes having them to where I can get them to move with some energy whenever I want them to. Um, you know, he's trotting, if I ask him to canter, he'll canter around there. If I would like him to change directions, if I just have to step over here, he will come in here, I can send him off the other way. I want him to canter, if I ask him to canter, he just canters. I want him to come in here, I'll step over here, and he comes in there. To me, those are the, the beginning of all the basics. If a horse can do this well, he is obedient because you can ask him to go and he goes. He's paying attention to you. You know, learning to do that stuff right there will take care of, of uh, quite a bit. Takes care of horses that would be hard to catch. You know, if you, if the, this is the first thing I teach horses, so this would take care of being hard to catch right off the bat. Because once you do this, it doesn't matter where you go, you walk around and they just follow you. You know, when I lead horses, I want them to lead behind me. And if I stop, they should stop when I'm leading them. Well, before I even teach them to lead, I've taught them how to, to do that sort of thing. So that, you know, that sets them up to be caught well. It actually teaches them a bit of a thought process before you even get to, to handling them. You know, people talk about well, tying up and brushing and picking their feet up as being the basics, but if they do the basics well, they'll be able to do those things well. If they only do those things well, there's a lot of stuff they don't know. So, uh, you know, once I've got a hold of them, then I usually I'll start desensitizing them. So I want to make sure these horses are not bothered by anything like this. And this year I had uh, a number of older, you know, 9, 10, 11 year old dressage horses that were, people were having trouble with and guess what? None of those horses could handle this, let alone the stuff that comes after it. So usually I'll start there, getting them good at that, then I'll get them good at this, which, you know, horses are worried about movement and sound. Well, first I got them used to the movement, this one's got movement and sound. So once they're really good about this stuff, you know, it doesn't really bother them at all. Then you just up the ante a bit and you get them used to this. Now if you look at the expression on this horse's face, his expression hasn't changed from when I was throwing the rope to when I was doing this. It doesn't really, you know, none of this stuff really bothers him. So this would get rid of what problems could this get rid of? Horses that spook at things, horses that panic about things. This horse here used to spook and panic a lot at all that, but in learning to do that stuff, he's gotten pretty uh, good-minded, you know, he's got a good thought process going on. So then the next thing I want to be able to do is start moving these horses' bodies around. So I want to be able to come back here and just offer a suggestion, I want to be able to disengage him, I want him to step, really step over behind like that. I want them to be really good on both sides about that. And learning to do this will take care of, you know, if horses kind of belligerent about things, they want to say no, 
You know, I had some horses this year that, you know, dressage horses that kick out at people's legs and stuff like that. Learning to get off your body language by, you know, with a little suggestion like that, got rid of a lot of that stuff. Then I want to be able to tell them to go. You know, so I should point, he should go. Now, how, it's very important how they go around here too. You might notice this lead rope slack and his nose is tipped to the inside. If I point, he should just pick up a nice even trot right there. I shouldn't have to beg him to do it. I shouldn't have to wave this stick around here. This is a training tool, but I don't really want to have to use it in the end. So I can do all that. So then I should be able to get him to stop by looking at him like that. Should be able to get him to go this way by pointing. And once again, he should go around here with a bit of a bend in his body. If I do that, he should be able to disengage right there. Very good, big fella. If I send him off around here, I'd like to be able to step over here and have him yield his hind end over while going forward. Like that, I'd like him to be able to stop there and roll back and go the other way. You know, horses that are pushy about things, um, you know, pushy about you in their space, any of that sort of stuff, learning to do this will really take care of that. You might notice every time I quit doing anything with him, he stands perfectly still. So this would teach a horse to tie up. He learns how to get off pressure. He learns how to stand still and he's not startled by things easily. So, you know, tying up to me would not be a basic. To me, a horse can tie up if he can do all these basics. I'd like him to have really good lateral flexion, meaning when I pick up here with my fingertips, he should just bend around here nice and soft. On both sides. I'd like him to be able to, I'd like to be able to send him between me and a fence, pretty closely like that and have him walk through there, there nice and quietly. This will, you know, if you can do this, you can teach him to get in a horse, horse trailer, or as they say in Australia, a horse float. You can teach getting in the horse trailer really, really easily. So they should be nice and confident when they do that. They should just walk through there nice and relaxed, not rush through there. I'd like them to be able to side pass up to me on the fence. So that you can rub on them from up here. You know, you can sit a foot over them like that. You can even actually get on them off the fence before they're ever ridden. You can sit down here and sit on them like this. So this prepares them to be saddled, get some seeing you out of both eyes. So those are some of the basics I want horses to be able to do. I want them to be able to do those basics really, really well before we ever start worrying about riding them. And usually when you do that, the first ride, the second ride, all the rides afterwards, usually there aren't too many problems at all. Usually in the learning of, of all that stuff is where you'll have the most issues. And once they learn that stuff, they're usually a pretty safe riding horse after that. So I hope that helps. See you guys later.